हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज़ हार्दिक पटेल एंड आई क्रिएट वीडियोस विथ माय बेस्ट नॉलेज ऑफ पाइथन जेंगो एंड अदर रिलेटेड टेक्नोलॉजीज सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्टेट डिजाइन पैटर्न सो व्हाट इज स्टेट डिजाइन पैटर्न सो स्टेट डिजाइन पैटर्न इज बिहेवियरल डिजाइन पैटर्न वेर यू विल फाइंड ऑल द एक्शंस आर हैपनिंग बेस्ड ऑन स्टेट सो वाई दिस स्टेट बेस्ड डिजाइन पैटर्न इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दैट ओके सो वॉट यू नीड टू इम्प्लीमेंट दिस डिजाइन पैटर्न so you need three classes one is main class so main class which uh, will have state object initiated so whatever state concrete class we are going to implement so instances of those states will be initialized while initializing the main class and self of that main class will be attached to that state class object so it can be accessed in state class okay and state interface is the second class where we are going to provide some methods which must be implemented so basically uh, those methods will be inherited or you can say implemented by concrete classes and the third class again that's a concrete state class so for particular state for individual state you will have separate class and the real business logic for those states will be written there okay so let's implement the example of uh, basic elevator with up and down action up and down action okay <laughs> all right so what you will need that is of course let's implement the user interface first sorry state interface so to implement the interface you will need abc that is abstract class and abstract method to implement abstract methods so let's import that from abc import capital abc that is abstract class and the abstract method so let's implement the state class that is again it's an abstract class so we have to inherit abc and uh, let me write documentation as well interface for state class states all right then we will implement couple of methods abstract method and push up button because in this elevator we have only two actions that is up and down we will have self then you will just pass right now because this is abstract method the real business logic will be written in the abstract not abstract it's concrete class methods right so again push up and push down all right so now interface is ready then we will implement three uh what can i say three concrete classes that means we are taking an example of three story building or you can say two story building that means we are going to have ground floor first floor and second floors that means we will have three states so let's implement the all three states class ground floor then we are going to inherit state class okay then we have to implement both the methods so i'm just copying and pasting now i have to remove this because now it is not abstract method it's just a method which is going to be executed and we are going to have some actions here so when someone push the up button at the ground floor then it will go to second floor or sorry first floor right so we'll do some action here but later go to first floor all right then if i push down it will not do anything because it is already on ground floor so we can definitely write print statement here that is you are already at ground floor and here also you can write the statement that when you push up button you are going to first floor right an action will happen here action is still pending it's not hash all right then let's copy this and paste couple of time because we are going to have three first floor second floor okay now from first floor to second first then if you are pushing up button for second floor then you can say this is already at
top floor and uh, in case of down button you can say it's going to first floor that is correct now action we will implement but uh, before that we have to implement main class because from that main class these all states are going to be used and operated right so class elevator and as we mentioned let me inherit object first we are going to initialize right this and in initialization we talked about that that is it is going to initialize state object as well and and self will be attached to that state object so how we can do that so before doing that i will going to implement one more method called set elevator so because basically it is going to use that state comma sorry it's self and state is a nothing but instance of state class and we are going to return nothing here so return none now the same method will be called here self dot set elevator and as i mentioned we are going to initialize ground floor and that will be set as a state and you are going to attach self as let me do that you can understand so this is state underscore state is a property of this elevator so whenever you want to check what is the state of this elevator right now so you can return the state property and you can get it right now state is attached here now what you as i mentioned that we have to attach that elevator object as well so elevator self okay so whenever you call it set elevator what it will do whatever state object you have passed that will be set uh, set as a state property underscore state property and that property will have elevator object and instance of that will be set here so why this is required because you will understand later let me explain now what you are doing is uh, basically you are encapsulating a couple of math uh, functionalities that is push up button and push down button. so only two functionalities we are right now uh, doing it here so we are encapsulating them into here right so same methods we are going to implement here as well you can name it differently but that's fine you can just say push up or maybe push down okay so now when you click push up what you will need to do here is that self dot underscore state so whatever state is that that is current state right of that elevator and you are hitting the push up button then what you will do you will just call the push up of that particular state right so this uh, this will be called this one so it will say that you are already at top floor if you are on second floor but if you are on ground floor it will say that you are going to first floor but real action is still pending that i will talk about okay now so before we do that we will okay i am setting at this now put down button okay now i am going to write that uh, boilerplate to run that module as a script so we can test it then main and we are just going to create the object of this elevator so elevator is equal to elevator so when you instantiate this elevator class what will happen it will initialize that automatically as a ground floor so another thing that i am going to implement that is called current state so whenever you call it it will print the state of that elevator current state okay so print i am going to f string then you are at then floor so how we can get the floor so self dot underscore state dot underscore underscore class dot underscore underscore name so don't worry about this uh, double underscore methods and properties which i'm going to talk about in another video where we will talk about magic or maybe you can say dunder methods so you can watch that video in upcoming videos okay all right and uh, now this current state we can use it here to check where the elevator is so you can just call it it will print the current state now i'll do some 
quick thing that is uh, push up push down elevator dot push up now I'm just copy pasting multiple times so yeah so that's I think enough uh, and I'll write this again one more time okay now uh, let's run it so we can understand what is missing so as you can see here you are at ground floor so when initialized then I called uh, you are already at ground floor because I hit the down button right let me show that as well yeah so down right and then I called it push up so it says that you are going to first floor and I hit again push up but it still says that you are going to first floor but it, instead of it should have uh, tell us that you are going to second floor why because when we are doing this you are not doing any action right so what you need to do is that just need to change this uh, instances instances of this elevator so for that you just need to call that method now that method how you can call it so you have that elevator uh, property set already uh, when first time we initialized right so self is already attached to this elevator object so you can call it like this dot push not push up sorry set elevator and then you can initialize the first floor object like this okay now I'm just copy pasting here this is going to be second floor and here you're going to say ground floor and here again first floor okay so now if I run it again now you can see you are at ground floor now I just push down that is it says that you are already at ground floor then you're going first floor second floor now it's working fine right so now as you can see state based design pattern is perfectly working fine now now let's talk about some uh, pros as we mentioned after implementation we will talk about it so the basically prone pros is that you can easily add new state using this pattern so suppose you are using the same program same functionality for other elevator where you are going to have four floors then what you need to do just implement couple of methods third floor and fourth floor right and the same program will help in that elevator as well so that is benefit right and another uh, another benefit is that you are also uh, following single responsibility principle so what is that principle so each state should have a clear and distinct responsibility by encapsulating the behavior in multiple states so as i mentioned the same functionality has been implemented in each state right so it's basically a distinct responsibility for each and every state and that will help you to maintain and change code easily right and of course you will remove multiple if else statements uh, though in some cases if else is better but yeah that is uh, another pros where you will not have to write multiple if and else conditions okay then what are the cons so basically only one con is that is uh, it's also a pros which I just mentioned that if you have multiple floors then you just need to add couple of classes for new states but if you are having more states suppose in, in case of this elevator suppose I am implementing this elevator for 125 story building that means I have to write 125 state classes which is huge right and it can go up also so that, that is when it becomes uh, pros and cons at the same time so that's pretty much about the state design pattern so if you have liked this video please share with your IT friends and hit the like button and one more thing uh, I am going to create more videos regularly so please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified for my next videos thank you and see you in next video